Good morning to everyone. Uh, Vice Admiral uh, Edma Santos, my the former flag officer in command and my mentor as well. I'd like to acknowledge also my also former, my former uh, command officer uh, when I was EXO at PF11, uh, Vice Admiral Emilio Mariag, sir. Gandang umaga sa inyo, sir. Before I proceed with my presentation, sir, I would like to acknowledge uh, members of Marina team who is with us, who are with us today, uh, the executive director of the STCW, uh, the incoming, uh, the president is soon to sign his appointment, Vice Admiral uh, Rene Medina. And also with us is uh, one of our directors uh, in charge with the shipbuilding, ship repair service, uh, Engineer Ramon Hernandez. Uh, Ramon, are you there? Morning, sir. Morning, Mon. Other, other guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Thank you for inviting me in this uh, 155th, 155th edition of the um, Maritime Forum. And uh, I will be just presenting a short briefing on what Marina is doing during the time of pandemic. For the information of everyone, I assume as Marina Administrator, on the day the president uh, declared uh, ECQ in the entire zone. So, um, maganda yung uh, pag-assume ko as Marina Administrator. From uh, the former OIC, uh, Vice Admiral uh, Vinson, who is also present with us. Carlin, let's proceed with the presentation. This morning, I will be presenting to you uh, what Marina has been doing, uh, its efforts uh, in combating the COVID-19 and in moving forward in achieving a progressive uh, maritime industry. Next slide, Carly. My presentation will uh, follow the following sequence. Pakibalik, uh, Carly. Uh, the policy issue once of Marina, uh, the participation of Marina in crew chains, also the participation of Marina in, pro in coming up with Malas Malasakit help desk for our seafarers in connection with their repatriation, and uh, our efforts in the ATIP to program of the president. Next. For policy issue onces, during the time of pandemic, Marina came out with uh, or crafted and approved through the Marina Board 11 uh, Marina Memorandum Circular and uh, 49 Marina Advisories. Uh, all of these were done uh, via a virtual meeting, uh, not face to face. So, nagpapatuloy pa rin kami mag meet. Uh, at the time of uh, pandemic. Uh, next slide. As far as the crew change protocol is concerned, Marina was able to uh, uh, collaborate with the PPA, PCG, and the Department of Transportation in coming up with crew change protocol to speed up the movement and the repatriation of uh, the seafarers who are coming home as well as the seafarers who are, who are going to be deployed in their new uh, employment. Uh, so we came up also with a joint circular for Greenling. Uh, this is an interagency circular that we have been part in crafting this one. Uh, this will speed up the movement of our seafarers by providing them a special lane when they, when they arrive in the airport, when they arrive in the ports, and when they are deployed uh, to their respective uh, new employment. Next. Next, please. So this is, uh, I will not be discussing on the concept or the crew change protocol, but uh, when we presented to the IATF uh, requesting the approval of allowing foreign on signers to do crew change in the Philippines, this was approved by the IATF when I presented it to them. And this allows, um, foreign uh, on-signers or seafarers to be coming to our country and do crew change, hub, uh, crew change uh, in our Philippine ports. And this uh, allows also principals to come over to the Philippines because some of the 
most of the countries outside are not doing crew change because of the restriction uh, in the effect of the pandemic. But with the approval of IATF, uh, we are now doing crew chains uh, in, uh, in now in three ports in our country, one in, Man in, in Manila, the other one in Bataan, and the other one is S in SBMA. Next slide, please. So these were, um, um, these are the numbers of uh, ships and uh, Filipino seafarers served uh, at the time of the pandemic because of the because of the implementation of the crew chains and the joint circular for uh, green lanes for seafarers. Uh, there were 734 ships dock or anchored in Port of Manila. 34,000 seafarers were served. 28,000 were disembarked and 5,800 uh, will be joining the ships, have joined the ships. And we expect a voluminous arrival of uh, Filipino seafarers in the next months as well as the employment of uh, some fisher, uh, seafarers as well. Uh, we received some good signs that uh, some of the principals are still hiring uh, Filipino seafarers. Uh, tayo pa rin yung number one choice of seafarers ng mga iba-ibang principal all over, the, all over the world. For the Malasakit Health Desk, uh, in line with the repatriation, uh, the LSIs uh, uh, of uh, seafarers, the Marina established what we call the Marina Malasakit Help Desk through the different uh, Marina Regional Offices. Um, and their role is to welcome, to assist uh, seafarers, and LSIs, and, and those coming, coming home to their respective provinces um, if they have problems. So these are some of the pictures uh, in, in what we have been doing in Marina. Um, and, and because of this, marami nagkasakit na Marina personnel because of, of, of COVID. But we will continue to serve and we will continue to provide assistance to our seafarers and even our LSIs. Next. For the Atid Tulung program of um, uh, Senator Bongo and our president, um, uh, Marina is actively involved in this. Um, next, next slide. Um, so, uh, Marina facilitate the, facilitated the Roro transfer of 103 buses bound for, region, bound for region 10, 11, and 12. So what we did is we uh, direct some of our domestic shipping to provide the free uh, transport to our LSI. So very challenging din ito kasi we are requesting them to provide transportation in Visayas and Mindanao to our stranded LSI for free. So napakahirap din magbigay ng advisory but we did that and uh, very supportive naman yung domestic shipping natin in Visayas and they transported um, more than 3,000 uh, close to 4,000 LSI's for free. And so our great our um, Appreciation and thank to our uh, domestic shipping who are very helpful in our uh, LSIs and the repatriation of our seafarer. Uh, particularly to go, malaking tulungan to go sa atin. Uh, kasi from Manila, they send home uh, seafarers and uh, some of the LSIs to the different uh, areas in Visayas and Mindanao. So, uh, yung iba uh, libre, uh, but some of the uh, pri uh, in fear are also discounted. So our uh, thanks to all our domestic shipping who we have been helping our government in the repatriation of our seafarers and the LSIs. So these are the names of uh, the ships that provided uh, discounted or free transport to our LSIs and our seafarers. Continue, uh, Carlin. So ito yung mga ginagawa ng ating uh, marina employees. And for, more, for the next part of my presentation, um, this is, uh, I came up with a 10-point agenda for the uh, marina as we move forward uh, during my time as the administration for the information of everybody. 
my uh, appointment is uh, effective March 16 and it will end on July 11, uh, 2022, at uh, the time that the president already has completed his term as the president. So ito yung aking 10-point agenda as we move forward. Um, let's proceed, uh, Carly. The first one is to strengthen the marina organization for efficient efficiency. Uh, especially the MROs. What we are doing is we capacitate our ma marina regional offices. Kasi when I assume, napansin ko na if uh, there are activities by the central office, kailan pa pumunta sa MRO uh, to do their thing. When if we capacitate the MRO, sila na yung gagawa sa trabaho namin. So mapabilis yun and we provide speedy delivery to the services to our maritime stakeholders. So we will strengthen our uh, MROs so that they can perform the function of uh, the central office. Para sa gano'n eh, hindi na nagbabiyahe yung mga central office. Kung minsan dyan nag, nagkaka, ano nang, uh, you know, the stakeholders will provide uh, free payment, free accommodation to our personnel. Pero, pero nandun naman na yung MRO na pwedeng kumawa. So these are the things that we are doing to strengthen the organization of uh, a maritime industry authority. On the second item, uh, we have to capacitate our personnel and uh, as well as uh, enhance their moral and welfare. Eh. Ganyan naman yung uh, nakuha natin in the armed forces. We always look and en enhance the moral and welfare of our personnel. Um, we are sending uh, four uh, personnel of Marina to WMU Sweden uh, this year for their masteral courses. So this will um, it, uh, is enhance the uh, competence of our personnel in Marina. So we will also be coming up with a MOA with TESDA so that we can also capacitate our personnel on uh, the different aspect of the uh, no, industry. Uh, para yung mga JOs namin, because we have a lot of JOs who, who can uh, apply for other jobs uh, when they finish their uh, short courses with TESDA. On the third item, the, of course, we have to strictly um, comply with the standard health protocols uh, given by the Department of Health. Uh, for the information of everybody, we have 37 uh, COVID-tested uh, marina personnel, but 27 is already um, uh, recovered. And um, sa ngayon, uh, 21 is already recovered. And sa ngayon, we have only 16 uh, uh, COVID positive uh, employees uh, uh, sa Marina. So we will continue to um, be uh, complying with the health protocols. On the fourth item, this is very important to us. Act with urgency in addressing, in addressing the finding of the European Maritime Safety Audit. Kasi if we will not be able to substantially uh, act on the findings of EMSA, uh, when the European Committee meets on uh, November, um, they will decide whether they will support our seafarers uh, who are uh, employed in Europe uh, ships. Uh, and if they will withdraw their um, su support to our seafarers, uh, we will uh, we stand to lose the 50,000 uh, jobs of our seafarers. So dapat um, ito yung pinag pinag ano namin ng pansin um, kasi uh, kung hindi namin magawa ito, um, malaking dagod sa ating seafaring industry. For the fifth uh, agenda, establish systems and processes that will eradicate corruption within the organization. That's, this is my number one uh, specific uh, directive of the president when I assume as the administrator. Uh, and so uh, what we are doing is to speed up the processes because the only way to reduce corruption is kung mabilis yung pagbigay ng then uh, there will be less engagement between the stakeholders and the marina employees. So we will do just that. Next slide. Next slide, please. For number six, uh, we maximize the use of digitalization or automation in our systems and processes. Um, the normal will, uh, it's only standard normal and uh, most of us will be using the online services. So. Uh, we will maximize the use. Thank you for thank you, uh, Kai uh, Vice Admiral Vinson, who already established what we call the online um, application of statutory certificates. 
mismo ang tawag doon. And uh, we are just uh, sustaining and uh, strengthen the system kasi ang problema nito kung nakahack o na-access ng ibang tao, then uh, there will be a problem because some people can um, 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 re renew their licenses without going through Marina. Uh, so we will, uh, I hope that we will be engaging the services of the Philippine Navy. Um, we, we will ask permission from Vice Admiral Bacordo to help us out in sanitizing our mismo, uh, our online services. Number seven, parcel the vi with Vigor, the eight priority programs of the Maritime Industry Development Plan 2019 to 2020. This is just like the sale plan of the Philippine Navy. This was um, um, crafted at the time of uh, Admiral Vinson as the OIC of the Marina Administrator. And we will uh, sustain your program, sir. We will continue to uh, come up with programs to ensure that the eight priority programs of the MIP will be properly implemented. For number eight, elevate the compliance of the STC, STCW convention and, and ensure the advancement and safety of our seafarers. And, and we'll also be doing this. A strengthened policies and procedures to ensure uh, good governance um, in all aspects of the maritime industry. And we are going to have um, audit by the IMO um, because we are a member state on, uh, this will be in 2022. Though matagal pa yan, we are already preparing for this. Uh, so these are the 10 point uh, agenda of um, during my time as the administrator of Marina. Thank you very much for uh, your time for listening and I'm ready to answer any questions if there, if there are. Thank you very much, uh, sir.